Hi everyone, sharing with you our very first bubble dome experience. This was in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Japanese movies. Mm -hmm. You ready? Go. If you come here, I'll show you how you This was during springtime in the UK and it was still freezing and we haven't turned on the heater yet. That's why we're so wrapped up. This is a beautiful place. The moment we got off the taxi, it already gave us a sense of peace and quiet, which is what we were expecting to get when we booked it. The next day, we woke up to a gloomy weather. But don't worry because the bubble dome and the bed made us feel safe and cozy. It would have been nice to just stay in the bed and have a lazy morning but we were so hungry. But thankfully the host left this fresh breakfast outside the gate. This is included when you book the Airbnb. But they don't provide main meal through the day and this place is totally out of nowhere so it would be advisable to bring your own food. Or if you can drive and you have a car, you can drive for 30 minutes away to get to the shop and the restaurant. <laughs> Outside the gate of this bubble dome is a dark looking forest. It's almost like our neighbor. I'm not sure if it's safe to go there and we didn't dare to discover it ourselves. We were just so lucky that the rain stopped just the right time. Otherwise, we won't be able to do the thing that we were so looking forward to do, which is our first ever s'mores time together. With a sweet twist, quite literally and figuratively, because someone visited us. Oh, hello, Mr. Cat. That's what makes I think Mr. Cat knows there's food over here, don't you? Oh. It's responding. It's purring. It's purring. You want it burned? It should be melted. Did it finish one packet? No, it just crunched. Did it run away? No, oh, it's eating it. I think this is almost ready. Yours? That I do not. Do you want to try this one, sweetheart? Mm, look how soft that is. You go first, you go first. Let me give you. It's too sweet. Does it 
tastes better when it's a bit burnt. A bit. <laughs> and look at how this cutie bonded with us, just enjoying Nick's warmth and just chilling like a villain. This night was almost perfect for us. The only one thing that we're missing is meat because we would have loved to do barbecue during this moment. Uh -oh. Cheers. I see the sky. That would be it for today. Good night and see you again tomorrow. Good morning everybody! We woke up to a gloomy weather again. We're just so so thankful that last night was a good weather so we were able to enjoy the night which is a blessing for us. Today is our last day here so we were just enjoying the cuddle weather before we go ahead and start getting ready and call a taxi going home. This was an amazing experience. You might just want to also consider the season when you come and stay here. For us, winter time is just the right time. This was us ready to go home and just waiting for our taxi. Wrapping it up here. Thank you for watching again. Bye-bye!